Okay, so this is in regard to a question on the SD7 where someone asked about being able to use the spit, split point when you're sending in a MIDI file from a DAW. And uh, there's a lot of unknowns in the question, so you know I'm going to try to generalize the response. But um, uh, obviously, if you are uh, trying not to get the bass to play, uh, if you're using a standard MIDI file sort of convention, then you could just mute or delete the bass track. But if you're um, if you're sending in a sequence, let's say on the global channel, and you want to be able to then uh, not trigger the the um, notes to the left side of the split point. Let me show you what I think you're asking, but um, I'm not 100% sure this is uh, truly the question. So on the SD7, you have, uh, so when you haven't told me how you're connecting your computer to your uh, SD7. So if it's, um, one, one way I'm gonna show you here is if it's with the DIN port, the other way is with if it's, uh, if it's with the USB port. So on the, um, on the SD, uh, seven. If you go ahead and press uh, keyboard, um, excuse me, press menu, and then you'll go into MIDI, and you're going to want to do two things when you're in here. First is you're going to want to select MIDI port, and uh, for the uh, IN1, assuming you're using a DIN connector, you're going to change that from MIDI play to keyboard. Now that'll make the first MIDI port, IN1, behave and and route its input to the arranger section of the um, of the SD7 so uh, it'll behave just as though you were actually playing the keyboard then only in this case the information will be coming from a DA so so you'll have to do that the other way is if it's um, if you're using a USB cable then you go into MIDI again and you're gonna want to make sure that you use um, USB MIDI keyboard here instead of USB MIDI GM. So USB MIDI GM will connect the USB port so that it talks to the, uh, the uh, general MIDI side. And the um, USB MIDI keyboard will be such that it talks to the, um, to the uh, arranger side. So if you do that, then what should happen is, assuming that your, your DAW is transmitting a MIDI sequence on channel one, you then are able to go ahead in here and you know you can set your split point uh, to whatever you want. Let's see here. Well, I'm not, I gotta get out of the menu, sorry. So you'll be able to set the split point to whatever you want then. So as you can see here, I can change that. And, uh, and then based on uh, obviously what you're using in terms of what channel you're transmitting on, for this to be applicable, you would be, have to transmit the whole MIDI sequence in on the global channel. So for the global channel, uh, what you would do is go ahead into Arranger Keyboard and uh, let's exit out of that. You go into and press uh, RX for the receiving channel, and you're going to want to make sure that uh, this guy is set to uh, one or whatever the uh, channel is that your MIDI file, if it is a single channel uh, MIDI file that will be transmitted out to your uh, SD7. So I uh, hope that helps you give you some ideas of what you maybe can do and uh, if not post a clarification and uh, someone will try to respond and help you out.